Hi, I'm Normie Beering, a research agronomist here at the North Mississippi Research and Extension Center. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about a project that's funded jointly by the Mississippi Soybean Promotion Board and also the Mississippi Corn Promotion Board. This project is entitled Crop Residue Management and Tillage Impact on Soil, Soil Quality, Yield, and Returns. This site here is one of two sites. One is located at Stoneville under irrigated conditions. It is proposed as a five-year study because with soil quality and all those aspects, it takes three to five years before you can see some changes in the soil. But what we're interested here in seeing what impact our tillage system in combination with, with burn and no burn corn residue has on the soil quality. That includes soil organic matter, soil respiration, uh, root resistance, and also uh, water holding capacity. And what we're looking at is four tillage systems. That's no tillage, a bed roll, a disc twice, that's our conventional, we call it, and then a, a tear till, which is a subsoil bed roller, one pass system. And then we have the tear till, one pass system alone. We have uh, our soybeans here, we planted the 24th of Mar uh, April. And our corn on my left over here was planted the, the last days of March. This is the second year of the study. The first year we planted corn and soybeans on, in a conventional system. We didn't do any uh, other tillage at all, treat it the same. Uh, this set the system up so we could rotate corn and beans. This area, what I'm looking at right here next to it will be corn and we'll flip over and do soybeans on the other side. Same tillage systems involved. Uh, we're looking at uh, the cost and returns of these tillage systems and what we expect that over the long haul, our no-till uh, yields will be as high or equal to where we're running a deep subsoil shank and those times, so we can remove the, at least that's not a cost factor in the system. We're finding that uh, we can, uh, in a rotation system, we can gain at least 15% uh, higher yield where we're doing that.